Hello eBay, hello YouTube. This is a 1956 International Harvester S160 school bus. This is could be the only one you'll ever see. I found this vehicle out in Minnesota in excellent shape as you can see. Uh, very, very restorable. I have lots of ideas of things that we could do to it. Uh, brought it back. Uh, put about eight nine hundred dollars in it for brakes and carburetor and new battery alternator you know things like that <clears throat> uh, but it runs drives really well obviously it needs uh, restored uh, depending on what you're gonna do to it the inside's been made into a motorhome or it's got some camping stuff in it, but you can see the body on it is fantastic. Uh, that's all galvanized cheating there. The body and the lines on it are just fantastic. I got a guy sitting in it, as you can see. He's going to start it up for us here and uh, show you how it runs, drives. We've driven it down the road. Uh, it'll need tires, but the, the brakes, uh, drivability, engine, everything starts up good. See are running right now. It really runs good. He'll drive it around. Thing's very cool. <laughs> the inside of it is just fantastic. And the lines and stuff on it is awesome. Now there's not a uh, title to it. It'll be sold with a bill of sale. Uh, quite easy to get a title. <clears throat> There's these different gears there, you can see. Now I play with internationals, most of you know. I'm gonna get around the building here so you can see it. Uh, both for myself and for the dealership I work for, zoom up on it. Uh, this one is owned by the dealership. <clears throat> so when you buy it you'll have to pay, uh, or no I guess you won't because there's no title so it'll be bill of sale you won't have to pay sales tax or nothing. Just a very 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 neat vehicle as you can see. Like I said he has driven it down the road I think he said around 50, 55, you know, it's good for. Uh, they brazed the radiator. They put uh, rebuilt the carburetor. Uh, let's see, I think a master cylinder bled the lines. Uh, when I say they, there's an international dealer here that does all the school bus fleet for one of our local schools. I had them work on it. And uh, they're the ones that did the work. Now we'll go back here and take you inside. I've never seen another one, and it could be made back to a school bus uh, if you wanted. That's the travel all that's on eBay right now. Uh, that the side there, you can see where the windows are currently at. That is just sheeting that will come out, and you could put the original windows in it if you wanted. You know, so it would be like the school bus. But the headlight rings, the blinkers, the bumper, the grill, the powertrain. This is the 240 cubic inch six cylinder. We'll go inside here. This is, thanks Tim. This is the uh, 
inside. We have the original seat for it. Uh, that one was put in when I got it. Uh, you can see some of the components there, the parts. It is a superior body. Uh, manufacture date 56. See it's got the the seat here that you can sit on. So you can see the dash, steering wheel. This is the, the dash of it. We didn't clean any of the inside here or anything up. Uh, just because so many people would have their own ideas on what they would want to do. I know that that window cranks up and down. You can see the original vent. Here's the original bus mirror they would have been hollering at the kids at. You can see the ceiling's in great shape. Uh, it's never leaked that I can see it all. <clears throat> uh, parking brake, the heater, glove box, wipers. See the glove box opens and is there. All the gauges are there. See the shift pattern, four speed. Here's the airflow control and the blower motor here because there's a heater here as well. Glass uh, in the front. Uh, let's see, we'll go to the back here. This is the ceiling going around. So the ceiling's in excellent shape. Now if it were me, I would remove this cabinetry in the inside and do something different with it, but uh, obviously whatever you decide to do would be up to you. But somebody put 80s type furniture in it, you know, out of a RV, and uh, I mean, it's it looks good. It's operable, I suppose. A little ice box there, uh, sink, cupboards, cupboards up above. And then the back section here, there's the original driver's seat, which is really, really, really neat. Uh, you can see the big old wheel wells there. It'd be cool. Uh, but this was left open from what I can see. Uh, there's a, the curves on this thing are awesome. But there's a little couch thing there that flips down. I don't know what would have sat there, what they would have had, but uh, maybe a stove of some sort. I don't know. See, there's a crack in the window in the back. There's a stovepipe outlet. Oh, I guess that's what that would have had. Uh, the door opens up in the back here, and the glass is good. See the curbs around here. Again, that wheel well. Then a shot up to the front. So this is it, 1956. International Harvester running, driving uh, school bus. It's got the lift cowl. The paint in the body is in exceptional shape. You can see there's zero rust around the wheel wells or anything. You can see inside the wheel wells are really good. <clears throat> A little step there, the blinkers are intact. Headlight ring, grill. Again, it's a straight six. Uh, lots of room in there. It's all the original paint. Uh, not rusted out anywhere underneath. Body's phenomenal shape. You can see it says superior up here. Right there. Nice little shutters, nice added touch. Again, if you wanted to make it a school bus, uh, this sheet along there just removes, and then you'd have to obviously replace it with the school bus windows, but depending on what you wanted to do with it, there's a zillion things you could do with it. Lines are awesome on this thing, and just phenomenal. Any of that rust you see is all exterior fictitious. Uh, the, the body's galvanized, so it's not going to rust. Tail lights, all there. Ladder probably wasn't original, but it can come off of there. Just super, super cool. So, bid with confidence. You know what you're getting. Uh, it's running off its own tank there. A new fuel pump. 240 six cylinder, 1956. Makes somebody a very, very cool project. Running and driving. Good luck on your bids.